Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Kyle, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I catch web app vulnerabilities before they're pushed into production? Cloud Web Security Scanner is a free security tool that integrates into Cloud Security Command Center. It can automatically scan and detect key web application vulnerabilities in your App Engine, Compute Engine, and Google Kubernetes Engine web applications, allowing you to catch issues before you deploy them to production. Cloud Web Security Scanner isn't turned on by default, so the first step is to enable it. From the Google Cloud Console, navigate to the Cloud Security Scanner uh, menu from the security item in the nav bar. If prompted, select the project in that organization that you want to run scans against. And if you haven't already enabled the Cloud Web Security Scanner API on this project, you'll be prompted to do it now. Once that's done, you can create, save, and run scans to detect key vulnerabilities. First, we'll walk through creating a scan. To create a scan, give the scan a name you can use to reference later. Then, add one or more starting URLs from the application running in the project you've selected. Scans will start from these URLs and actively crawl through your web application, clicking links and submitting forms in a variety of different ways to look for exploitable vulnerabilities. Since the scanner actually tries to click on links and submit forms, we do recommend you run these scans against test or development applications. Once you've set up the starting URL, you can also add URLs for the scanner to exclude, you can set up authentication for the scanner to use, and you can set up a recurring schedule for the scan to run. It often makes sense to have scans run periodically, especially as new changes are rolled out in your applications. When you're done setting up the scan configuration, hit Save. Now, you can select that scan to trigger a manual run or to review the status of the scan and the findings that are discovered. Let's take a look at findings from a previous scan. After you've turned on Cloud Web Security Scanner and run your scans, you can also use it to explore the findings discovered. Here, we can see the scope of this scan, including how long it took, which URLs it crawled, and how many URLs it crawled, and what vulnerabilities and how many vulnerabilities were found. Cloud Web Security Scanner can identify many common web vulnerabilities on these pages, including vulnerable libraries, flash injection and mixed content vulnerabilities, as well as cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. You can dive into a specific finding to learn more about where in the application the vulnerability was discovered. Here you can see a reproduction URL, as well as some information about the finding. In addition to using Cloud Web Security Scanner to view your results, you can enable Cloud Web Security Scanner as a source in Cloud Security Command Center. Navigate to the Cloud Security Command Center, and under Security Sources, make sure that you've enabled Cloud Web Security Scanner as a source. Now, you can view your findings directly in Cloud Security Command Center on the dashboard, where you can get a quick overview of the findings found in your organization, or in the findings details page, where you can see the findings from Security Scanner in context with all the other security findings in your organization. This gives you a single place where you can review your application vulnerabilities, as well as other results available in Cloud Security Command Center, allowing you to understand the full picture and improve your organization's security posture. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts. Mm -hmm.